Hi and welcome to Data Coder. In this video, I am going to discuss about the transpose procedure. This procedure is very important in basic programming to reshape or to transpose our data. So, if this is your first time to the channel, then subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on base advanced and clinical SAS programming. Let's get started. The transpose procedure creates an output dataset by restructuring the values in a SAS dataset, transposing selected variable into observation. So, we, we have an input data set and we use the transpose procedure on the input data set and it creates a new data set which is the transpose data set. The next point is the transpose procedure can often eliminate the need to write lengthy data step to achieve the same result. Further, the output data set can be used in subsequent data or proc steps to analysis, reporting or further data manipulation. Proc transpose does not produce printed output. The print to print the output dataset from the PROC transport step, we need to use either a PROC print step or a PROC report or another SAS reporting tool. So by default, it doesn't print the output dataset. To create transposed variable, the procedure transposes the values of an observation in the input dataset into values of a variable in the output dataset. For example, if we have a data which is in a long format and we want to change it to a horizontal or a wide format, we can use this PROC transpose to achieve the result. By default, PROC transpose transposes all numeric variables in the dataset. So if we are not applying any options or statement to the PROC transpose procedure, then by default it will take all the numeric variable and transpose them. So now if, uh, here I have taken an example from sashelp.class dataset. Here we have five variable name, sex, age, height and weight where sex, height and weight, uh, oh, sorry, age, height and weight, these three are the numeric variable and name and sex are the character variable. So when we apply the transpose procedure to the sashelp.class dataset, we get an output which is shown over here in the transposed data. So by default the numeric variable which is age, height and weight got transposed and we, the transposed values has been represented with the variable column 1, column 2, column 3 etc. So now this is the syntax proc transpose proc transpose data equal to in data out equal to out data run. So here we are transposing the sashelp.class data set. So proc transpose data is equal to sashelp.class and out equal to trans. So now this a uh, default probe transpose output we can modify or we can customize it by applying some of the options or statements. So first let's see the options of in prop transpose. The first option is name equal to. So this option allows you to change the name of the underscore name underscore variable. It is the name of the variable that is transposed. So here uh, by default, we used to get the output and, uh, you know, in the output there is a, with those variable which got transposed, those variables are stored under the variable called underscore name underscore. So now, this is the default name of this variable. Now, we want to change this variable name uh, according to our wish. Then we can give a option called name equal to var name. So now proc transpose data equal to input data set out equal to output data set name equal to var name. So instead of underscore name underscore this name has been changed to var name. So this is the first option we can use in proc transpose. Let's see the second option which is called prefix or suffix. This option allows you to change the prefix or suffix of these column variables. 
uh, it is prefix or suffix to the transposed value. So now with a uh, name equal to option we used to change the variable uh, name of the transposed variables. Now we want to change the name of these transposed variables. Now uh, you know we can use either prefix equal to or suffix equal to. So here we have used prefix equal to student. Now this column 1, column 2, column 3 has been replaced with student 1, student 2, student 3. And if we use this student as a suffix, here we need to change suffix equal to student, then it will be 1 student, 2 student, 3 student. So after the number, the suffix will be added. So this is how we can give uh, either prefix or suffix to the transposed variable, uh, you know. Let's see the next option which is drop equal to this drop equal to you know used to drop variable from output data set drop transpose data equal to source dot class out equal to trans drop equal to underscore name underscore so here we want to drop this variable underscore name equal underscore so now this is our output uh, default output and after applying this option drop transpose we are getting the value underscore name underscore has been dropped from the output. So next is the statements in prop transpose. There are three main statements we will be discussing. One is id, second is by and third one is var. So id statement it allows you to include the values of a variable as variable names in the output data set. In other words it tells us to keep the variable names in the output file which are observations values in a variable in the output data set. If the variable in the output statement is numeric, an underscore will be put by default at the beginning of the variable name. Instead of a default underscore, we can use either prefix equal to or suffix equal to option to give a specific prefix or suffix which can be any character value. So if the values are numeric then a underscore will be added by default and this id will keep the you know label to the transposed variable values. Next is the by statement. By statement it allows you to transpose data within the combination of the by variables. The by variables themselves are not transposed. The variables need to be sorted before running prop transpose. So this by variable it's used to sort the data and before using this by variable in the prop transpose first we need to sort the data set based on the by variables. Next is var statement. Var statement it lists the actual data that need to be transposed. So in the var statement what variable will mention those data will be transposed. If you don't include a var statement the procedure will transpose all numeric variables that are not included in a Y statement or an ID statement. If you want to transpose a character variable, a var statement is required. See, if we don't give any var statement, then it will transpose the numeric variable. If we are using by statement and ID statement, the variable which were uh, used in ID and by statement, those uh, variables will be include, excluded. And the other variable will be used in the var statement by default. But if you we want to mention some of the variable in the var statement, then those variable will be transposed. Let's see the examples. So here proc sort first we are sorting the data set by the variable name. Now proc transpose data equal to sorted data set name out equal to trans by name id sex var age. So this is our input data set in the output data set by name based on the name the data set has been sorted and uh, in the id we have used the variable sex so here the uh, transposed variable labels are as per the sex uh, values that is male or female and the Values under male and female are based on the var statement that is age. So the transposed data is age, which is underscore name underscore, uh, is contain the transposed variable and the label to these transposed variables are coming from the id statement.
so now uh, another uh, you know option is not sorted so here you know we are sorting the data set first then that uh, sorted data set we are using to transpose the data and using the by statement but if we don't want to sort the data set and we want to use this by statement then we can use this option this option specify the data is not sorted and not required to sort it so in the by statement uh, you know we are using the variable height but i am not sorting this before so for that uh, you know um, i need to use this option called not sorted if i don't use this option not sorted then i will get an error in the log the data set has not been sorted so if i am not sorting it then i need to use this option not sorted so from transpose data equal to data set name out equal to output data set by height not sorted height is x bar h so we'll get the same output next is delimiter option this delimiter option is used to separate values of two variables specified in the id statement prop transpose data equal to sarsel dot class delimiter equal to underscore name equal to var name out equal to trans id name sex so here in the id i am using two variable name and sex and to separate these two uh, there is a delimiter used one option is used delimiter and the delimiter is underscore so if this is my input data set and after running this code the output data set will be in the id i have two variable one is name and another is sex and those two values are separated by a delimiter underscore so this is my desired output Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to the channel for our upcoming videos on base and clinical science programming. Thank you and see you later.